Standing players in the world of soccer compete for the Budweiser Gold of the Year Award. And now the highlights that lead to this year's Goal of the Year. There were a huge number of great goals scored in the North American Soccer League this year, but some were disallowed. Powerful left foot shot. That's headed towards the goal is in. Also, watch this stop by Winston DuBose. Once again, over on the left side to Badanzi. Badanzi trying to find somebody to center it to. And he does to Hudson. The header by Hudson, beautifully saved by DuBose. What? Again, you have to think that that was destined to be a goal. It, it took everything, I think, that DuBose could put into that to save that. And this is Badanzi out on the left wing. Crosses it very quickly with his right foot from the left of your screen. Hudson diving in. There goes DuBose with his left hand, as I say, almost with his left fingertips. A spectacular bit of gymnastic diving there. And then there were goals followed by an expression of exaltation. Watch the rebound from Mark Liveridge. But that was followed by a feeling of near desperation. Giorgio Canaglia and Liveridge know something is coming up. something a yellow card there's an infraction in soccer called ungentlemanly conduct that's what happened to tony field tony field all by himself everyone watching signature goes down and field says hey i'm going to soak up every second of this i can take it slide into first base that tactic gave the chicken to fall apart an admonishment for tony field not only from the referee but also from our feathered friend great goals scored in international competition Here's a shot by Kinayago! Oh, my word. That is vintage Canalia. How many times do we find ourselves saying that? My word. Let's see it again, Jameis. There's the ball from Wilson. A nicely flighted ball that comes right to Giorgio Canalia's chest. It's a man coming on him, but too late. Look at that, right up in the upper corner. Great goals in the North American Soccer League result in powerful blasts. Watch Niskins. Zimmerman from Houston. Donaghy from Portland. And the art of heading, very important in goal scoring. Right, Chicken? Oates of Detroit. The speed to Miguel and to the box. <laughs> oh, beauty. Notice the exquisite timing for the score. Best of Portland. Side now for Stuart Lee. Stuart Lee chips into the box. Oh. My best get all oh. Placement from Clyde Best. The crowd thrilled, and here's the only time that hands are used in the sport. Notice the cool setup of Ian Bridge and Roger Davies of Seattle. Now comes to the byline, sending it in front for Davies. Bridge has it, puts it down, puts it for Davies, scores! The delicate touch by Best and Bain of Portland. Anderson chips it in for Best. Best gets his head on it. It's oh. in the net. It's in the net. The volley shot is one of the most exciting in the sport. Watch the timing of Abelson of Tulsa. A tremendous goal from Paul Child. A short run up on the ball, bending it in, but too far, but a shot back, and it's a score. And Nokoli of Edmonton. 
Sweeney puts it up there. And the goalkeeper tried to make a grab, couldn't get his hand on it. Here's Nogley. A good pop shot. He's going! Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal by Nogley. Great goals are also often the result of individual efforts, such as that of Steve Wagerly of Tampa Bay. Wagerly. Left goal. Left goal. What a rock. Steve Wagerly. Here's a potential superstar that really appreciated that effort. And also this one of Bosmeyer of Philadelphia. An end-to-end -end run and the finishing touch into the open net. No, there's no emotion in the sport at all. Otto Marhetti, the 20-year-old from South America. Great determination and work rate. And the ball in the left-hand side of the net. Great goals are also the result of teamwork. Here's Big Clyde Best on a run. He's got Dale Mitchell on the right. Look at Clyde stretch out. To Mitchell. Mitchell scores! Oh, what a run. Clyde Best. Dale Mitchell corrects the goal. A thrilling effort from Hudson and Cabillas of Fort Lauderdale. Hudson. Good heel pass. Cabillas in front of the goal. It was perfect, and that's a good example of why the strikers are in Soccer Bowl 80. Hudson and Nene Cabillas, the world-class combination of Canalia and Alberto. Alberto with the score. And the celebration that follows, Giorgio and Carlos. Yet one more example of why the Seattle Sounders had such a successful season. Hudson for Grease at the byline. He'll set it in front. Looks for Navy shot. Goals in soccer are also often the result of set play. Once again, Leon of Seattle. Right, here's Leon, a shot! Is there any more lonely feeling in the world? A superb game winner from Keita of New England. Notice the touch on the kick. There's Keita. Watch him. He is so dangerous. Go! Those then are some of the great goals scored in 1980 in the North American Soccer League. But what are the greatest? What are the criteria? Well, the goal must be the result of exceptional individual or team skill, showing both power coupled with finesse. And here are the candidates for the top three. It's time now for the North American Soccer League Goal of the Year, brought to you by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Here are the finalists of Budweiser's Goal of the Year competition. In third place, the Cosmos immortal Giorgio Canaglia, once again, league-leading scorer in 1980. Now it's bogey. Otherwise, they touch it back to Angelo Di Bernardo. He's got a lot of the ball in the first half. Seamus right. here's his cross. Into the box now, picked up by Canaglia. Great move. Shot of the goal! You'll see it coming up now. He gets a nice ball. It's played into his feet. There's a man coming up behind him. He flips it up, gets away from one man, turns. Now, he doesn't hit it the first time, but on the half volley, the ball comes up a very difficult shot to turn on and whacks it in the corner. A tremendous individual effort from Giorgio Canaglia of the Cosmo, league-leading scorer again this year. The second-place finisher goes to Frank Barton of the Seattle Sounders, a great demonstration of teamwork. Funnel with the left of the box, playing it back for Hutchison. We're tied at two, sudden death overtime. Hutchison looking in front, Davey, back to Barton, shoots, Professor Martin, he said, I'm going to power this one in. Frank 
Spartan of the Seattle Sounders' second-best goal of 1980. And our Budweiser goal of the year for the season scored by the player of the year in the North American Soccer League, Johan Cruyff of the Washington Diplomats. Once again, keep in mind the criteria. The goal should demonstrate either individual or team skill on an exceptional level. There should be power involved, coupled with the finesse needed to overcome the efforts of the defenders and, in particular, the efforts of the goalkeeper. Watch now as Johan Cruyff demonstrates both grace and poise and explosiveness. This poise and explosiveness from perhaps the greatest player active in the sport of soccer today. He cuts between defenders, goes to his left, and left puts the goal into the back of the net. A 50-yard run resulting in a score for Johan Cruyff of the Washington Diplomats. Crowd on its feet at RFK Stadium in Washington, where Cruyff has brought drama and excitement to the soccer fans of the city that will be sighted at Soccer Bowl 80. And once again, Cruyff with that tremendous acceleration, breaking through two defenders, now easing up, displaying the coolness as he cuts to his left, the timing superb, beating the goalkeeper Jack Brand in the right-hand side of the net. Goal of the year for Johan Cruyff of Washington. We hope you've enjoyed all the action that led to the Budweiser Goal of the Year. To soccer fans everywhere, this Bud's for you.